County is erasing the problem of graffiti with a simple solution. Sonu Wasu joins us now live to show us how it's fighting back against vandals who damage public property. Sonu? Michelle, many cities are shelling out millions of dollars each year to clean up graffiti. Clark County showcased its brand new graffiti removal unit today, and we went to a heavily tagged area at Snyder Park to watch the unit in action. They're using 185 cubic feet of pressure and an environmentally friendly baking soda mixture to literally erase the problem. We are taking graffiti very seriously in this county. Several agencies have teamed up with Keep Clark County Beautiful to draw the line against vandals who want to tag public property. Graffiti is one of those things that just is an eyesore on your community and makes people feel that nobody cares. It cost about $24,000 to purchase this graffiti removal unit. A task force watched it in action in cities like Cincinnati and Columbus. And they were impressed. Studies have shown if you remove graffiti very quickly, it is less likely to reoccur. The county will use this unit to remove graffiti off public buildings. In highly tagged areas, plans include painting over the graffiti with a mural. It's more people just trying to call attention to themselves, or there's, there's a lot of hate graffiti, ethnic slurs, and things like that. And that's something we particularly would like to target and get rid of as quickly as we can. We understand that they're artists, and there are plenty of ways to put that artwork on the Internet, but not on our buildings and property and signs and stuff like that. By next year, officials say villages and townships in Clark County will be able to use the graffiti removal units to clean up their communities. Now, authorities do want to remind you tagging is a crime. If caught, you could be charged with criminal damaging, go to jail, and pay expensive fines. Reporting live, Sonu Wasu, 2 News on your side.